you all so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Um, I thank all of you for joining us online as well. Uh, so today we have Miss Tammy Moore. She is the executive director of the Full Life Ahead Foundation. Um, I asked her to come out because she's uh, certified to, to teach a, a life course that is really in line with the theme that we have on um, for the month of October. So we we're talking mm -hmm. about developing a backup plan, you know, in the event that, you know, your primary caregiver is no longer there. So um, she's an expert in teaching this and she's going to walk us through this life course. So, Miss Tammy Moore. Thank you, Lorenzo. First, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to correct you, Lorenzo. Okay. If I may, oh. I am no longer the executive director. Ooh. Oh, we gosh. have a new guy. Oh, and i um, very happy to have him. His name is Mike Bell. Okay. And I'm mm. going to be working in programs, so I get to work with people more mm -hmm. closely all the time. That's my passion, and, and that's what we're all about, living our passions and our purpose, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. what's your official title now? Well, I don't know that we have officially figured that out, but mm -hmm. for right now, we'll just call it pro program director. Okay, okay. We'll set up for that at this moment, but it could change. I don't know. So how many of you, first, I just want to tell you really quickly about Full Life Ahead. How many of you know about Full Life Ahead? If you do, Full Life Ahead you. is like moving forward. Yes. Do you know about... Um, our organization, the Full Life Ahead Foundation. Um, it's like we go around and discuss what we could about that. Yes, didn't y'all come out one day? I think we've seen y'all. Well, I'm going to tell you just really quick. I gave everyone one of these. Okay, and it tells what we do at Full Life Ahead. One of the main things we do, I think, is the most fun and it's definitely the most popular thing is camp. We have three camps a year at Children's Harbor and it is on Lake Martin. Any place on a lake is going to be a gorgeous place to be and Children's Harbor is absolutely gorgeous. Our next camp is November the 1st through the 3rd. Um, and then we'll have one in February of next year, one in June, and one again in November. Mm -hmm. We do that every year. So there's plenty of opportunities to get to go. So at camp, what do you do? You catch the vision, mm -hmm. right? And it's, you, you feel empowered, you learn of things about yourself, um, things that you are able to do. Learn more about your passion and your purpose. And how yes. awesome we are. Mm -hmm. yes. <coughs> and all the things, this world is our oyster and the way that we fit into that world. And parents, they're also learning about all the things they can do to be there for you. Your caregivers, your parents. And we have a great time. We do a lot of fun stuff too. What kind of, who has been to one of our camps? Been a while, but... Uh, what kind of fun things... Do you remember us doing like activities? Um, the boat ride. Boat rides. That is awesome. We get out on the lake and go on boat rides. What else do we do? Dance. Dance. That is oh, very popular. Um, 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 do we read Bibles and stuff? Yes, we do have a honey word Bible. If they come out, we'll have a little devotional on Saturday morning. Is it like the... Like a, the is it like a group, social group or something like that? Well, it's not really a social group. It's, like it's a party? just people. No. We do have a party yeah. though. It's part of it. Okay. okay. Does someone get that door? No, we have company. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. But we do have a party. Mm -hmm. We just all uplift each other. We learn from the best of the best about the things that we can do with our lives and the resources and connections we need to get there because everybody needs help their life. Correct. And one of the other things we do is the next thing is a workbook. Y'all come on and sit down. There's some seats right there. Who has seen our workbook? I've seen it. Okay, well, we need to think about getting one here. Yeah, but I thought you say you only get one at camp. Yeah. So, <coughs> excuse me. 
This workbook is pretty awesome, if you ask me. Two wonderful people I know and love wrote it. Mm -hmm. Judy Barclay and Jan Cobb. Their parents. And they said, you know, we wish we could have a book that just told us all the stuff that we know now that we didn't know. Mm. That could help other parents so they wouldn't have to have such a hard time finding out all these things. And it's a long story to but to make it short, we ended up with this. And it is wonderful. It's been around since like oh two. And it's not one of those that you just pick up and read through it. It's not a storybook. It's not a, a, a textbook like you would have at school. It's a workbook. And a workbook is interactive. So say, hmm, say that you were thinking about getting a job. Well, there's all these tabs here. One of them says, about me practical tips, managing my money, where will I work, what will I do, that's what I want to know about, so I turn to that one. See, so it's, you go where you are in your life in this book, that's what's so wonderful about it, and it, then you can, it helps, it helps you figure things out about yourself and the things you want and need in your life, and so it says, Has you, have you ever done any work before? Did you enjoy it? Well, why did you? And why didn't you? So I ask you all these questions and it goes on and gets more in depth so you can learn about yourself and what work could be to you and what it should be. And there's lots of other things in here. It talks about benefits. It talks about if you're going to college, money management, you name it. And there's a big resource section in the back for just different things that might help you out throughout your life. Places like this Able Center, full up ahead, Alabama Department of Rehab, Department of Mental Health. There's just so many. I can't even, there's like hundreds of them in here. That's a great one. Yeah, just tons. So this is a real good thing to have. So that's the second thing. And when you come to camp, you get a workbook. Or you can order them online at fullofahead.org. How much they're $25. So then, after camp and the workbook, we have discovery. So if you feel like you really need a little extra help, we'll dig in deeper with discovery. And that's where we'll really get to know you. <coughs> we'll use that workbook. Um, we'll ask you lots of questions and answers. Well, you can come to your home. I think we did. Yeah, we did some of that. Yes, we've done some of that. Well, um, get you networked and involved in your community and use your community and your family as a resource and see what's out there for you. And when we're having discovery, we're, we have it for a reason. There's always one good reason, core reason, that you want a result, you need a result for in your life. Most of the time, it's what I just talked about a second ago, it's I want to work. That's like the most popular thing. People wanting a job. And so we'll discover, we'll do a discovery and see what your strengths, your interests are and discover your purpose. Okay, we'll do all those things and what you're passionate about and see what's available in your community and what kind of support you have. That's what discovery is. And then we'd go even a step farther with that. And I know one person here that's very familiar with Hope Tunes. Yes. Yes. And that's where you bring your community and your family into your home and we come together and we'll have a good meal or we'll share some snacks and then we'll just good meal basically. Yes, a great meal. If you're at her house. It's pretty pretty good. It's beyond good. It's over the moon good. But so we'll get together and we'll enjoy a meal and we'll socialize and then we will come together in a room and we'll brainstorm. We'll brainstorm solutions to what, to say you want that job, okay? So we discovered that Amy, and, and Amy is not really a real person, but I'll say Amy, she really wants to work. She loves animals. She's really good on the computer. Mm -hmm. She really, really, really likes going to the doctor's office. 
he loves going to the doctor, doctor's no. office. No. Amy does. <laughs> yeah. She loves the outdoors, but she cannot stand being in the heat. So we'll learn all those things about her. And so we'll say, what kind of jobs would be good for Amy? And so we'll start talking about it and people will talk. Oh, well, this would be great. And I know Uncle Ned has a, a, a pet store. And she likes animals, so maybe she likes that. So things will come of that. Well, you have all these people there, and they have all these people they know. And it's amazing when you put a lot of folks together, the ideas you can come up with and the solutions you can come up with, and the help that you can get. And that's what I hope team is. And I'm hoping to do another one at some point. That would be great. Can I ask a question about the up? So what ages? Do you start full life ahead and start working with? So, if someone calls and they have a need and need a resource or connection, I'll help. I don't matter the age. But for our camps and hope teams and discovery, we start at the age of 13. 13. With any disability. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do you um, work a lot with like. Um, Toddlers with um, like with autism? No, not really. Now, if a mother called in and she had a toddler with autism and say they were two, I would definitely um, connect her with folks at earlier intervention and, mm -hmm. and things like that and support groups. And if she has specific things, I would try to help while we're on the phone and um, connect her with people I know. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, this month, the the child is on the <clears throat> waiting list to be tested about it, tested for autism. I, I can tell you, he has it. Right. Well, I mean, if he you has don't, it, they have a need but, to call. Yeah, I mean, like she's she's been very frustrated with the wait, and I understand. And just for a, he's gonna hurt himself because he has some behavior issues. So. Yeah, tell her to call. And okay, I'll, I'll, I'll connect her with folks I know and. Um, I know some different places where you can go and, and have assessments done too. So okay. there's yeah. some options. Maybe there. there's a place you can get in sooner. Right, and that happens. Okay, and then the last thing on here is family empowerment. Who knows what empowerment is? Okay. What does it mean to be empowered? Brittany? You are empowered, it means you have the knowledge, you're you know what you what your plan is going to be um you have the education right to just move forward and even to share what you know mm -hmm. to me that's one of the most important parts of being empowered is sharing what you know to help others mm -hmm. right don't keep all your knowledge to yourself share your knowledge and your connections mm -hmm. with other people and the world will be a whole lot better place. Mm. So when when our families go to camp, they get the workbook, some go through discovery and hope change, not all, <clears throat> they're empowered. And they might come back to camp as a mentor family to help others and just out in the communities. They're living, those empowered families are those folks, who, that individual with a disability has had some success in, in maintaining, getting a job, Maybe they just wanted to live out on their own, away from their parents. Now everybody wants to live with their parents all the time. I know if you told me I had to go live with Gigi and Papa right now, I love them, but I would not be so super happy about it. I'm kind of set in my ways. And, and they have relationships and they build those relationships. So that's the things that we do. And this is another, um, this is just a brochure I gave you guys about, about full off the head. So we start at the age of 13, any disability. We have the camps, the workbook, discovery, hope teams, and family empowerment. Is there a cap age? No, there's not. Okay. There's not. Um, there's not. So does anybody have any questions about that? Mm -hmm. Our website is full lifeahead.org What's well, on here? Mm -hmm. it's, it's on, on that handout. And our main number is 205-439-6534. Okay.
So let's get down to why I'm really here. I had to share, I had to share with you guys about what we do because who knows, you might want to come camp. You might be interested in having <clears throat> Discovering Hope team and I certainly wouldn't want you not to know about it. So, does this look complicated to you? Does this look like it would be hard to do? Does no. anybody think it looks hard? <coughs> Excuse me. That part looks complicated. Yes, I swear. I, my part looks bad to you. I've, I've, I've yeah, done this. So Link it all and I can say this, yes. the star is it's kind of dark. The star yes. is kind of, that's difficult. That's, that's harder. Hard. I think the trajectory is, that's not really hard. Right. I don't think that's good. Let's do the trajectory first. Okay. okay. You want to do the trajectory first? All right. Okay, everybody flip oh, it to this it side. The Is it on the back? It's on the back. Does everybody Hello. have one? Yeah. Hello. How y'all doing? Come on in. Y'all can sit right there. We may need another chair. We didn't actually come to class. We didn't know you had class going on. We came to speak to the <laughs> We're live at the moment. Buzz will have them. Someone is camera shy. Come on, join us. You know, sit down and enjoy. I, I think it's good for you. Yes, I think, I think anybody could get something out of this. This has been used by businesses so they can have a good business and succeed. You could use this if you're trying to figure out what you would do if you didn't have a caregiver. You can use this if you're trying to figure out what kind of job you might want. You could use this to figure out where it would be a good place to live. You can use this for pretty much anything in your life. So it's very easy to do. Okay. Are you having to leave me? Oh, yeah. It was so nice to have good you. See, I'll see you next week. Good to see you too, Mr. Rizzo. I gotta turn around and put my seat up, so. Just push that seat up for him right there. You don't mind. Thank you. You got three. Okay, three. Yeah. Push it all the way up. It's gonna nail cross. Good. Hey, have a good one, Paul. You too. Good to see you. Be safe. All right. I so what can help him like, with that door going out? Good. I thought he was saying like raise mm -hmm. the seat. Just watch your chair, please. Mm -hmm. Doing good, buddy. Oh Look yeah. You. And uh Paul, yay. Uh, can you uh Mom, grab my bag? Oh, my bag. bag is the gray bag right there on the table. Britain right there on the table. Yeah. That's right. You can just tote that out for another day. Thank you. Does anyone need help you? You're good. Um, you can hold on to it. So a trajectory. That yeah. sounds like a really big word, right? Be careful, Paul. Oh, you're looking good. Thank you. Have a good day, Paul. You too, good enough. Good day. But what we're really talking about is what we want in our life and what we don't want in our life. And then this line is the things that you really don't want to do that's going to get you to where you don't want to be in your life. Mm -hmm. And this line, you will write the things you need to do or you are doing that's going to get you to where you want to be in your life. Okay? Or get you to where, Mentor, do you want to like concentrate on what they would do? without a caregiver or do you want to make it more general let's go more general let's okay because i like what you're doing okay <clears throat> so we're gonna we're gonna go with that so the first thing we need to do is to think about and write down and if anyone needs any help with writing down anything just let us know I can help. <clears throat> yeah, Brittany can help and there's other folks in here i'm, I'm sure that are glad to help so in this first I've got mine upside down. Uh -oh. No, I don't. I need it. You know what? You need this on top of my head. Mind. You need your glasses. That yeah, helps. Yeah. Now I can see, and it's really funny. What's the first word I'm going to read is vision. I got my glasses, so now I have good vision. 
So vision for a good life. So what is your vision for a good life? Oh, I know. I know one right. that I could help anybody I could. I would love to do voice acting. That would be wonderful. So write that down. I already did. Voice acting. Mm -hmm. So what, are, what would you think would be good things to have in your life? Does anybody want to share one thing, just one thing like he did, of things that some good thing you'd like to have in your life? Um, Just give us an example. Somebody want to spit it out? No, I will. Okay. H husband. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> Both the women in here holding that. Yes. I have a husband and I love him very much. I like you. What's your husband's name? His name is Johnny. And he has been gone all week to work. And he comes home today and we are so happy to have him. Come How many hours has he gone? He's been, been gone. He's been gone all week. <laughs> so another, anybody else want to share? Yeah. What? Anybody, anybody else, else have an idea what they want? So, what would be good? What would be something you want for your life? I, rem your life? I remember the first thing that I was told in full life ahead. What? Right. About people who don't hang around people who are poisoned. Hang around people who are good for you. Right. Mm. So you want, that's the thing you put in there. You want good people in your life. You want balcony people. People who um, think a lot of you and they see the big picture. Mm. Not yeah. the and Debbie Downers who say sorry. you can't do anything or you can't do this, you can't go there. You want those positive people. And also, do not hang out people that ask you, like, and hands you something, like, very illegal, like a drug or something. Exactly. Right. Because they'll say, like, are you, are you, are you, have you, do you have asthma? Do you want a medicine? And then they'll say, like, yeah, sure, and you take it if it was a drug, actually. Yeah, we don't want that. So let's start writing. I'm going to start just spitting some things out. Yeah. Don't write it if it's something you don't really think about or care about. But if it's, oh, yeah, that's something good. I might put that on my sheet. Please do. So, yeah. things I want in my life. Yeah, job. I want to have a job. Mm -hmm. I want to have money. Mm -hmm. I like to go shopping. Mm -hmm. I would like to travel. Mm -hmm. I would like to have vacations. I would like to have a car. Or I would like to know how to use public transportation. Uh, or let's see, what else? Can I think of an me? apartment? I would like an apartment. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'd like to have a house. Uh, I maybe. would rather live with my mom. What was that going to? A family. A family. And friends. I like to have friends. I would love to get to go to church yeah. when I want it to, the church I want to go to. Yes. Um, I would, if you don't read, say, I would love to learn to read, or I would love to learn to bake cakes. I would love to I mean, travel. It be just anything, yes. Just Can anything I? that you really want in your life. Mm -hmm. Some of the things you may already have, put those down. Mm -hmm. If they're important to you. Some of the things that you don't have that you want, put those down. Whatever those things are, it's what a good life is to you. Mm. So this is one you can't cheat on. You can't look at anyone else's paper because you're different than everyone else in here. Exactly. Just like if you cheat, you'll make an app still. Yeah, we, we yeah, want a good life for us. And my life is not going to be the same as my daughter's even. And we live in the same house yeah. right now. And I'm sure that she doesn't want to live with me forever either. <laughs> So, does anybody have any questions or need help with that one? Um, not any help. Okay, what? What's the Brittany, can you help, oh, help yeah. her a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <coughs> can we move on or do y'all need another minute? I'm just trying to figure out how to set Okay. So, does everybody have at least one thing in their square and y'all can take this home and sit down at the kitchen table and work on it too when you're just by yourself and you can really think about think about it and just take it to heart without anybody else around you yes i really encourage you 
to do it by yourself because I don't want you to be influenced by what others want for you, especially as parents, because we have these ideas what we think our children's life should be. And let's see what they want in their lives. And let's see, let's encourage them to have those things in their lives. And we're there to guide them. Now, if they said, now, if my daughter said to me, Mom, I want to go jump out on an airplane tomorrow. What? Now, I might have something to say she about that. Mm -hmm. so go ahead. Yeah, we discuss how we're doing this and, and, and make sure she's safe and pray a lot. So, okay, we're going to move on. So, look at that red box. It's a lot smaller, I can't see that. but you can fill it up, okay? Do you want me to write camera? Y'all see the red box? It says, what I don't want. Some examples of what I don't want in my life. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be stuck in the house on the couch all the time. I want to have friends. I don't want to be friendless. Think of things you don't want. I don't want to be unhealthy. Yeah. I, I want to eat healthy instead of eating junk. Yeah. So you think I don't want to be neglected or abused? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what. I don't want to be on drugs. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things you don't want in your life. Mm -hmm. So think about those things you don't want in your life. I don't want to, um, let's see, I don't want to be unemployed. Be unemployed, yes. Mm -hmm. Can y'all think of something else you don't want in your life? I don't want to wear the same clothes every day. Mm -hmm. you, want to, don't, you, want, you want to have clean clothes. Right. things you don't want. Start starting. I don't know if I've told everybody, and this is a good time for me to do this. Starting Monday, I will be getting myself dressed. Wonderful. Good, good, good. And awesome. be doing my own stuff. See, that's the thing you put that in the things I do want. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I don't want to be dependent on oh, someone oh, the rest yes. of my life. Oh, yeah. You know those things. Has everybody written something in there? Um, I wrote everything down. Does anybody have any questions or need help? Okay. So let's do this. And this can be hard for us sometimes because triangle. Yes. Okay. Remember when I told you. These are the things that you need to do or should be doing to get to the things you want in your life. So, <clears throat> whatever you write here is going to be directly correlated with what is in this box. Wait, what? What you put on this line. Say if I put on here that I want a job. Well, to get a job, I might need to talk to the R. I might need to think about training, transportation, and all that kind of stuff. And if, if say down here, I put it, when we're going down, if I said I don't want to be poor. Well, then that would mean I didn't talk to V or I have not done all these things. Sometimes you're doing things, you'll find out if you, if you get home and you spend a little bit more time on this, you'll find out that, ooh, you finished your boxes, what I want, what I don't want, how I get to what I want, and what I do to get to where I don't want to be. Sometimes, and it can it happens to most everyone, they'll find a couple of things that they're doing down here that is taking them where they don't want to go. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. You got to be really honest with yourself and say, oh, well, I'm really headed the wrong way. I'm doing the wrong thing there. And I might need to turn that around and, and, and just, just cross that out and do something the opposite to get where I really want. You understand what I'm saying? So, so what do, do, we write, do we write anything on the lines? Yes. So, write? for example, um, Lorenzo, may I borrow your pen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, I'm going to put 
job. I want a job and I don't want to be poor. Okay, so to get a job, I think one of the first things I need to talk to, talk to is all called vocational rehab. Oh, so the line is like steps. Yeah, yeah you can write all over the line, like I said. Line, but the lines are for like steps. Yeah, things I need to do to get there. Yeah, I need to see about transportation. I have I have Miss Sharon for transportation. So, mm -hmm. so I don't want to be poor. Well, I, I don't reach out. You know, you just I stay at home and I watch TV all day. You're not going to get anywhere doing that. No, you're not. You need to bring people into your lives. Uh -huh. So you understand, so you will write things on that line. You can write it across the line. You can write it however you want. Do you want a job? Yes, a job. I want... See how I write it? Just, you can just write however you want it. It has to be no certain way, just so long as it's following that path. See what I mean? You don't have to be any certain way or so, it's on the outside. Okay, so do you, may, I, may I ask a question? Please. So when you're writing the steps, do you start here or do you start here? You can start any. That, that's what I was trying to say. If things come in your mind, just write them down. It doesn't have to be step one, step two, step three, step four. Oh, these don't have to be steps. It can just be like things like, that to, to, let's to, call to reach that goal. Yeah, things you need to do to reach the goal. Mm -hmm. Things you are doing to reach that goal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the bottom line, we need to put, if we catch ourselves like, if we're looking for a job, we catch ourselves just laying on the couch all day. Right, and so say you want a husband. Same thing if you just sat on your couch all day. What you got to do to do that? Mm -hmm. right. Well, I got to date. Certainly. Yeah, so you never I'm on the first date. I'm, I'm, I'm on the first step. I'm, I got the first step done. I have so y'all understand that? So I want everybody to at least write one thing at each line. Notice I said at each line, not on it. At, if you just be around it. Okay. Does anybody need any help? Um, you in there, Jay? Yes. Okay. So you want to be healthy, so do you eat a you bunch of junk food? Do you use so a diet junk food? What's the stuff you need to do? <laughs> <laughs> You do have muscles. You work out. I need to go to the lecture. I need to be going to the lecture. I usually do. See, it does it. I can put that on my line, but I'm not going. So, you know, I have somebody not going to lecture. I'm not working out. And I'm not eating right. I need to go. I am going to lecture. Are you? Yes, I've lost 30 pounds. I need to, I need to um, look at your trajectory. Well, okay. y'all need any help? Okay. You want us to put one on the bottom one, one too? You can put Lakeshore on there. Mm-hmm. You want to put Lakeshore? Go to Lakeshore? Yeah. Okay, Tammy, I'm a little confused about the bottom one. Can we can help me with so that. So what do you, let's see, we don't so, have to tell everyone your business in the whole wide world. Okay, let's like see. Okay. 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 So, things that you don't need to do, so you don't. So, things you don't need to do. Right. To get this. So, um, So, if I, um, the things that don't get you there, rather. So, so uh if you don't want to be poor, you don't work. If you don't want to be alone, you don't go anywhere. You know, you don't be stuck in the house. You don't learn okay, to use okay. transportation. Well, no, it's stuck in the house. I think, <coughs> uh, not, not go to uh, social events. <coughs> you might have friends. So if somebody invites you to go to a dance and you don't go, that, that was the wrong choice. You. Unless you were sick that day. Mm. Okay. So, do y'all have any questions um, about that side? Yeah. Okay. So
to write in the negative. Okay, does everybody, okay. I just want to make want sure to that everybody, so, if you took this home right now, do you think you could work on it? You don't need to. Mm -hmm. Pour yeah. your heart out. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And really, just really pour your heart out on it. And try to, um, you to so not I want you to have the things you want in your life. Um, mm -hmm. And if you're not sure of all the things that need to, you need to get you there, ask Lorenzo, yeah, call me, talk to your parents, like whatever, you whoever mentors you right. and is there for you in your life, if, a positive person, ask them. If you, We're glad to help. That's what we're able to do. Just sit in the house. Okay. You're not you want to flip? Exactly. You want to flip it over? Okay. So I'm just going to read this. So it's called Integrated Services and Supports. So there's services that we can receive and supports that we can get. People need supports to lead good lives. Everyone does. Even the President of the United States. He has all kinds of supports. It's amazing. Using a combination of lots of different kinds of support helps to plot a trajectory towards an inclusive, quality community of life. This tool will help families and individuals think about how to work in partnership to support their vision for a good life. Mm. Okay, I'm going to take a break to work. So has everybody decided pretty much what some of the things are good life would, would need, what you need in your life for it to be good? So, um, what we're going to do is, here. This is funny because me and Daddy were talking about this oh, morning. Isn't that cool? About how, how <laughs> I can, I mean, not totally about it, but how I can be more, more independent and more interactive. Right, and, and we all have things that we need to work on and find a support store. <coughs> and I have me sharing as my support. But not 24 7. No, but when she does stay with me, when dad's gone. Yeah. Okay, so the I think we're going to start on this side. Okay. We're not going to do the star first. Okay. So, first thing is we write your name right there. Blanks, one page profile. Right so in that blue square, write your name. Oh, yeah. That'll also help if you forget it, we'll know who it is. But y'all are going to take this home and work on it. Lorenzo might want you to bring it back. I'll show you where you can get copies of things here if you want to work on them again. So put your name. And then, I'm sure this is going to be the block that has the most stuff in it. Mm -hmm. You are going to write oh. so much stuff in this block. Oh, no. Because you're going to write what people like and admire about you. I liked it. So that block is going to be stuffed. Can everybody share one? Yes. Okay. yes. Um, you want to start? What? I'll start. And that will give everybody a little <coughs> cue. And then we'll let Lorenzo go so you get ideas. So what do people like and admire about me? Hmm. I just love people. So I think when you love people, they kind of like you back. So I love people. That's actually what I was born to say. <laughs> We're so much alike. <laughs> <laughs> I said people like me because I like people. So. Wow. See, so we're a lot alike. Okay, why do people like and admire about you? She got a job. She's got a job. Right. right. I'm yes. proud of that. And you still work. She's still be nice to others and you can like that people. Okay. So he's nice to others. And what do people like about you? Um, I'm willing to help others, but first I realize i got to help myself first. Okay, good. Very good. Very good. Really, what people like and admire about you? Well, the first thing I put is good, a good, good advocate. Yes, you are. Okay. You want to go? Personality. Okay. okay. 
each other about and build each other up about what you like about each other and help mm -hmm. people fill in their beliefs okay so gold what is a gold what's important to you Come share again. yeah all right you want to start okay what is important to me my family so important to me so i would say copy Two, I guess these kind of go hand in hand, but uh, my faith and my family. Mm, the two wonderful mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Yes, I uh, like Good job. What about you, Brittany? Well, dang, Lorenzo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say um, that um, <laughs> my children. Even though they're four-legged, they're still my children. Okay. <laughs> my fur babies. Very right. Um, my friends and my family. <laughs> my mother and my brother and my, my grandmother. My cousin. Mm -hmm. What's your goal? Uh, mm -hmm. oh. What's the most important thing in your life? Um, What's important? Nice and help everybody. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Me? Yes. Yeah. No. Family, of course. Family, friends. Okay. Uh, okay. Family. Kids. Grandkids. Yeah. I have them babies. Oh, yeah. Too, yeah. I love it. My dog. <laughs> <laughs> What's your dog's name? I uh, say. Isn't my dog's names? <laughs> what are your dogs? My, my, the oldest one is Snuggles. And the youngest one is Sugar Cookie. Well, there's hot, more so. back to that. That's my, I'm on the Chris. My mom usually baked sugar cookies at Christmas, That's and when she, after she passed, it I kind of got that. The I got that torch. My sister chose something, another one of her special things. So I got sugar cookies, and I got this was like my Christmas present. So I wanted a Christmassy name and sugar cookies are really special. Perfect. And she actually looks like a sugar cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she really is. Okay, next. Oh. Alright, so who's next? What's important to you? Uh, 
family, faith, and then uh, friends, and I want to add new friends we're making today. Oh, uh, thank you. I have new uh, friends. So it's me, family and friends. Okay. Look. No problem. No problem. And community is very important. That's what you was about to say. I was about to say family because I mean family is everything. But to get off that just a little bit, mm -hmm. I'm finding my way back to being back around people and family. Because okay. I have had myself so secluded at home because of me not dealing with my disability well. Yeah, I'm yeah. just not coming to terms with it. So yeah. I'm getting back to there. To, you know, love you being around my family and friends again. Uh, I like that. I like that. I like mm -hmm. that. That's great. I like that. Getting off that couch and watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay to do that every once in a while. Sit on the couch and watch TV. Five years. But let's not get no 30 minutes. That's uh, good. 30 I'm minutes is good. really like that other box where it says, how to, how to best support me. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, that's yeah. one we're going to do next. Yeah. So, do you have any more that you want to put on here? Um, so, how to best support me? So, we all need help and supports with things, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I were going to put something in my box, and I've been very bad for him to think of it, you know, I haven't written anything on my paper. I've been talking all the time. Well, you're teaching, so it's okay. Yes. I'm going to sit down and do it. I've done this before for myself several times. So how to best support me? The way you can best support me is with pat on the back and a smile. Mm -hmm. Just some, you know, you got it, girl. Mm -hmm. Encour it. Encouragement. Just encourage me. Yes. Well, I would say how to best support me is that I need to be more diligent about just taking personal time for myself. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's hard to do. Mm -hmm. We could just go day and night. Yeah. How? What's the best way we could support you? Being independent. Mm -hmm. Yes, we'll support you in being independent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Mm -hmm. Is everybody yeah. writing? Um, write your thing down. Give for me. It's give me directions. Oh. Like, yeah. Um, so, cause I'm, like I'm directionally challenged. Hmm. So you just need to be very clear. Hmm. I need and have like directions. landmarks. I need landmarks. Like, okay, you're gonna pass Walmart on your left, and there'll be a shell station on your right. And at that shell station, you're gonna take a right. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the right. Side. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Next. So what do you need to do? Um, how do, how do you, how, how is it best to support you? Um, I know I'm going to need a driver. Driver? <laughs> driver? Uh, so you're which one you got, Jason? Which one you got? Yeah, understanding for talking. Understand. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. You want to go next? How can we best support you? It's one thing. Please respect me like you do for everybody. I like that. I, I love like that. that. I like what? that. What? Please respect me like you do everyone else. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm putting that on my panel. Mm -hmm. I love that. That is That's awesome. Good. That's good. You're going to go next. Support me? Sometimes I <laughs> struggle. 
like he, he wants to be I like an adult, treat him like an adult. But when I treat him like an adult, he thinks I'm scolding him. Because mm -hmm. we always baby, oh, Kunal, Kunal, like that. Because Kunal don't do this. <coughs> he thinks I'm scolding him. So I, I want to know how to help him. How to communicate that in that way. Yeah. How to tell him, like an adult, uh, but he doesn't think I'm scolding him. Right. I need, yeah. at times I need people to tell me to stop talking. I did talk <laughs> the same thing. I can talk and talk and talk. You know what I mean? Encouragement, no encouragement to be, keep being independent. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I need people around me to keep my self esteem high. Okay. okay. I don't know how well it fits, but I'd like to see uh, smiles on people's face when you when you know that the work you've done has paid off. Right. I, don't right. know, I don't really know a good way to put that though. Well, I understand. Their appreciation. Yeah, but not verbal so much. Right, just, right. Just know that uh, what you're doing means something to somebody. That, mm. that right. kind of gets you energy to, to do more. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, when a tree falls in the forest and you don't see it, you know, you like to be, you like people to show the appreciation for the smile. They right. saw it. Mm -hmm. Or I cleaned the kitchen today and nobody's been in my house for a month. <laughs> it's very <laughs> appreciated. <laughs> That's crazy off the wall, but you know. It happens. You wanna go next? Uh sure. I put that stop letting my illness consume me. I gotta mm. reach out to people so that people can understand what I'm going through so that I can have yes, yes, a more social life. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like that. Time. You can do it. Motivation. More motivation than yeah. You know, I think I misunderstood the, the question of the box. I was saying how to best support, support me. How to best support me. I thought I was thinking about me. How do I best support me? But you meant how do other people best yeah, I support think I did too. Okay. That's how you I look know, like I, I thought. I, I thought yeah. it was what am I going to do? Support so, how do other yeah. people yeah. support you? Mm -hmm. So, well, so other people people support other people how to, what could I do to help you? understand my illness better. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what could I do to help you? Motivate me. Motivate me to push harder. Yeah. Yeah. You go, boy. You got it. I need people to help me get rid of I've been working on that at home. Yeah. I'm okay. talking about I have material or? I am a pack rat. Pack rat. Pack rat. Stuff. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Borders. So, I, I threw some stuff away this week. <laughs> so, does everybody understand that? Yes. That square? We, we do, yes. yes. Okay. All right. We're going to move on to the oh, star. Oh, that Brittany just cool. hates this star, but it's really kind of cool and it's not that hard. Well, maybe it's not. Just one more shot when I went to it. It, it may have just been the way the person explained it. It just was like. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's start. Let's start at the top. Well, don't you have to have put a goal in first? No, no, no. We're not. Okay. You can. Um, Cause I thought it was to put a goal and then you use that. Said so for your good life. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna think generally I for your good so. life. If you have something specific like a job or something. It don't matter. I mean, it, it's good. You can apply it pretty much anything. But for your overall good life, which could be your job, it could be I want to live independently. I want to go to church. I want to have more friends. I want to go traveling. You put all those things in here that apply to all those things in your good life. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do it general. You can do it just for employment or whatever but mm -hmm. today we're going to do it for mm -hmm. just our overall good life so this is kind of what we've already done over here but what are your but it's different so your personal strengths and assets so it can be anything from um i'm really good at working 
on the computer doing Word and Excel spreadsheets to I, um, I'm really good with people. Mm. It could be, um, you know, I have a strong faith. I mean, it could be so many different things, but it's going to be very unique to you because think of your good life. And, but, and think of just you. What are the personal strengths and assets that you have that you can apply to any part of your life? Mm. I'm a great driver. Or great cook. I'm a great cook. I make great <laughs> sugar cookies. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. We got a shelf in the room. Oh, <laughs> oh you are? Yeah, I am. Who's so, sweet? if you ever ate at Zoe's, he probably cooked it for Zoe's, I love Zoe's. <laughs> Zoe's kitchen? I did. I used to. Because mm. of cheesecake for I'll be there. Oh, you're oh, cooking cheesecake. a cheesecake. Ooh, I love cheesecake, honey. I've yeah. never been to cheesecake. I've never been to cheesecake. I like it. But I don't need it. I love cheesecake. I've wanted to. I've just never been. That's awesome. It's good. It's good. Oh, summer, right? yeah. I actually had gotten hooked on there all the time. I was going out there getting that cheesecake. Oh, so good. Mm. So good. Mm. Really? Wow. So, so you oh, that was your soda. first time what? eating you know, the soda? Oh, yeah. so, yeah. so what type of cheesecake he bring so home? Man, hello. Uh, that was the very first time eating cheesecake when I first started working there. <laughs> I brought some cinnamon cheese, a cheesecake. Oh. So the cinnamon, she tasted it. She was like, it's just like cheese though. I know it don't taste like cheese. Yeah. That's what I always thought it tastes like so cheese. So you bit into what it, and eat. what did you think? I wanted a piece every day. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cinnabon. I went to buy some lovely and she said, but it's some cake. So she thought it just tasted like cheese. Like cheese. cheese. I actually thought it would be a good time. Until I tell you. See? Well, my thing is, look, see, I know y'all feel like this case with the cream cheese frosting. I really thought it. What are your opinions? Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So, um, we would say like my family, they are a great support to me. Uh -huh. My friends. So this is who. And you can put people's names in there if you want to. If they if they're really super important to you in your life, and yeah, well, um, are they support you? Is God? Yes, that's a good one. God at the top. Landon. Yeah, my Indian. That's brother. This is really good here because I think. You know, we need to brainstorm this because it's really in line with what our theme is this month. I mean, do you really know what you, who your who your support system is? Right. And who, you know, in the event that even that main person at the top is no longer there. Except for God, he's always there. Yeah. Who's who's next? Hey. You know. You know, let's say if you list, you know, uh mom or dad as your primary support system at the top. Well, well, they're no longer in there. Who's next? Yeah. And if you think that person is next, have you had that conversation with that person to say, you know, I, about, you know, that you will be dependent upon them in the event that your primary person is not there? Go ahead. I didn't take it upon myself because I kind of figured out what I wanted to do wasn't going to happen. So I took it upon myself to ask my aunt if she would be my backup emergency contact mm. that i mean that's all i asked her about yeah, and, that's she, and she said yes. Look at the list she said yes. who's your backup if you can't yeah. call your mom said, oh, how would you be calling and she said yes well, and Come up with a good list that's a great yeah, no, great no. thing you're working i mean i know my family's not going to leave me out and the, the he's like right family now family live with my dad and everything so i know they're not gonna leave me out so my family's not gonna leave, to leave me to, to you know to, to be homeless or anything but i it's just more comforting to know mm -hmm. i don't want to have to be grieving and figure out Who's in? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It would be very difficult. So do y'all have? Do y'all have at least three huh? people on your list? Good thing. Can't count God because He's always there. I want three people that have human beings. Do you want God? Yes. I just don't feel like we have to have three people. In my house. Friends, but they have a lot of and it's like one I'm going through some things. I really don't have that support. My parents are in Birmingham, but my son is twenty six. I mean, he left me in the house with his family. He's always master support. So I mean, I don't know. So we need to develop that. That's interesting. That's good. Can I ask a question for everybody in the room? So. Is there anyone in the room who feel like they can't put anything in that box? Anyone else who feel like they can't put anything in there? Which one? Uh, the, the relationship base. The relationship base support. You know, there was a time when I, I couldn't mm -hmm. put anything in there. I, I mean, I honestly feel like that sometimes. Like when I went and put myself in the hospital in the first week of September, I called my sister because I need to talk to somebody before I went. She said, let me call you right back. I'm telling you, you don't have a mental breakdown. You tell me I'm going to call you back. And I call my brother, same thing. Wow. Just to go to the works. I mean, so what am I supposed to do? Mm. So I feel like I don't have nobody. Wow. 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 I mean, even though he's there, he lives with me. Sometimes, you know, he'll check on me when he's there. But I mean, whatever his life is or what he got going on, being a 26-year-old young adult. Yeah, yeah. It, it overrules me. Is there yeah. anybody else? Yeah, I understand. Um, I understand. My so, what, what like, Wait, are these backup caretakers or steps that you take, no. you can take Your to dad. get a support system around? Dad. I'm gonna have to, instead of That's relying fine. on just people, personal people, sure. I'm gonna have to have me a medical professional that I can actually probably call and go and talk it's to because okay. as far as just That's personal it. people, I don't have to because I mean, I got friends no, that I talk to on the phone, but they got their own lives. What about, um, one of the greatest supports have been for me, 
um, outside of my family and my friends, that my community, my church have been people in a support group. Mm -hmm. um, and my daughter has a very rare thing going on and, and, and it helped me so much to be able to talk to somebody that understood. That's the issue for me too. Um, many support groups on Facebook, I'm not in a live support group for my disorder that I have. I have this out of normal, if you ever heard of it. But I'm in plenty of support groups on Facebook for that, but then some days I get on there and people are so <coughs> depressed and going through their things, I feed off of it. So I can't, I can't really right. be there right. that's because that's problem. something like it jumps on me. I can understand. There are no, um, with the, right in Birmingham, that has your specific type. Oh, there, uh, there are plenty of people here, but I, I don't know. Not. You know what? You know what would be great though. My just disability think, is. Hold on, hold on, one more. I'm sorry. One more. I'm sorry. You know what would be wonderful is if you experienced that. I've thought of it. I've thought yeah. about it because I mean, there. I mean, the support groups. There are people local, and I, and they're everywhere. I mean, yeah. they've even named October. I'm just on I'm just on long awareness month too. Isn't wow. that for passing out? Mm-hmm. I I I have a just autoimmune condition. Do you? Wow. Yeah. Neurocardiogenic so syndrome. I have thought. I think Lorenzo think has a wonderful idea. And that will empower you so much. Mm -hmm. And you can make the rules. So we won't have that negativity that you found on Facebook. Right. You right. have your I'm limits not, and I, mean, I understand because I, mean, yeah, I have days that I'm course. going through, but then those people may not want to hear what I'm going through because for me, I feed off of it. We need and to share, be able to share, but yeah. we need to um, be able to gain support from others. Right. And, and, yeah, if you start a Facebook group and say, say really hey, this is for people with mm -hmm. dysautonomia, we, let's, only, let's only say positive things to encourage we each other. Y'all, Lorenzo just um, cued me. We have 13 minutes. I'm sorry. So, and we have um, three more spots to fill. So eligibility specific. Now that can be, a, we can do this one quickly, I think. So like if you wanted a job, you might be working with vocational rehabilitation service. You might have SSI, you might be getting those benefits. You might have Medicaid or Medicare. I have Yeah, you might have a waiver. Um, you might be working with the Department of Mental Health. There's all kinds of things that are eligibility. Even, you know, your health insurance that if um, your job, your parents' job or something, you have to be eligible. There's requirements for that. So that's when you kind of spit out you know, stuff. Like that support groups, the support groups yeah. being that, like would people first be in that or would they be in purple? I'd be in purple. So you might think, um, like Al Hip. So, yeah. Who knows about that? Alabama hip? No. Oh, no. Hip honey. Hip I'll just talk to Brenda today. So if a person has, there's a family, and there's a person in that family that has Medicaid, and they also have private health insurance that is employee-sponsored, most of the time that would be through their parents. Um, they may be there, or that's the first criteria for eligibility. They may be eligible for help with their premiums. Hmm. And, but there are other things involved, but that's the first step. So I, whenever I talk about Alabama HIP, I'll, I'll say if you have Medicaid and you also have private insurance that's sponsored by the employer, you may be eligible for Al Alabama HIP and you use a So car. Alabama HIP will pay your insurance premium, like your personal insurance premium? It does mine. Is that through Medicaid? It's Alabama HIP. It's, it's, it, it's, it's, they have a relationship. I don't know all of that specifics, but so this because is like my SSI. people that receive SSI. No. If you have Medicaid, it don't matter if you got it through um, SSI or because of low income or the other ways that you're eligible for Medicaid. If you have Medicaid, and my Kelsey has Medicaid because she has SSI. Yeah. Her daddy has her health insurance through Blue Cross Blue Shield. And it's employee sponsored through his employer. 
Well, Kelsey also has a medical condition which met that their eligibility criteria. And so we became eligible for them to pay our premiums. And I'm going to testify that further is that our premiums were $1,200 a month. Oh my God. So that mm -hmm. increased our household income $14,000 a year. Right. So they pay 100% so of the premium? They do of ours, and I think they do of all, but I would just suggest that you go to the website, talk, to, ask me for that information. So mm -hmm. you can't find it. It's H-I-B. H-I-P-P. Like the beginning of a hippopotamus. Okay. So the Alabama hip. It is wonderful. So wow. it's not like they just only pay Kelsey's premium. They pay the premium of the whole family. The Medicaid gonna be covered in. Anyway. But but the, the secondary, that the blue cross blue shield, that premium that you may be you have coming out of pocket with they'll pocket. they'll cover that. Yeah, they take it out so, of But they it's yeah. not it's still so they, they they have to take I mean, that twelve hundred dollars out of his check. But they don't do it for Medicare, right. dang it. That's a big increase. That's but they don't do it for Medicare, it dang it. So if you don't know that you have to ask. That's, that's no, huge. they don't. So She's a that's a big big thing. You might um, think about how her come out. Talk to everybody about it. Um, okay, What's so eligibility is specific. Well, See, that's what you do. Yeah. You, you have some knowledge. I had that knowledge yeah. and it helped me in my life. So yeah. you share it. You share it. Did you have a question? Yeah, that's sort of how it works. I did not understand. Like, uh, he has Medicaid and he's also like his dad's insurance, mm -hmm. uh, Blue Cross. So, how it will work? So you would need to contact Alabama Hip and see if he meets the other eligibility requirements. So what they will do? So I'll give you a phone number and you call it and that's, that's pretty much it. When we get done here, I'll pull up that number and the name and you can call them right now so when we get done. they will cover rest, which Medicaid does not cover? Or? No, they cover, cover the premium. So when you have employee sponsored insurance, you're having to pay for it out of your check. Um, usually it's pulled out of your check. Um, so they'll pay you back for that. You'll get that money back. Medicaid is paying for it. So, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's done deal. It's done. And as far as anything over, now your insurance, what you get the benefit of it is going to remain the same. It's what you pay for your premium that you'll get back. You so when you get home, so you can ask your husband what's being taken out of his check for y'all insurance mm -hmm. that portion can be covered by alabama here right. so and they'll meet all the requirements, yeah. the requirements. So, that, so he can start bringing that back into the house instead of it being taken out but not for dang mm -hmm. medicare mm -hmm. dang it <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. so let's move on we're running out of time community-based so community-based programs things that help um do you have any eligibility requirements? Would you consider yourself a community-based? Um, we we are, we are, um, of the with the exception of our employment. Um, it's pretty much open, but now there are uh, eligibility requirements for our employment service. So we can consider as able a community-based yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. And you can not put your church there if you go to like Lakeshore or something, or you go to the Y, you go work out. Um, what other places are community based? I mean, where you work could be community based. The zoo. Yeah, where you go get your hair cut. You're getting support there. So there's people there that know you and, and everything. Community based. Really, people first get here too. What was that? People first get here. Oh, you must have a kind of. Community they so they've been in two boxes. They've been in two boxes. They're awesome. Y'all, I'm sure y'all all know about people first because of some of the folks in this room. Yes. Well, y'all ask Brittany about people first. She will tell you this is a great, great thing. Get involved in it. Anybody else have ideas for what could be a community based support? Um, he's able to send it also to the library. Yeah. United. Yeah, the Boat Rehab. Right here. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. United of Boating. Boating, he just said. Boating. Boat Rehab. He said Boat Rehab. Boat Rehab. 
That's eligibility, eligibility specific. That would go in this little gray green, red green. Library. Oh, you're yeah. talking about community base. Community base. Okay, okay. So, okay. Have so like, you have to like be what eligible. you can go get some services from. Like, yeah. yeah. Or you get supports from. Or supports from. Like to help pay your bills or something like that. Yeah, right? or okay. library. Like JCCEO. Or you probably have yeah. eligibility requirements. Okay. So it could be more like your church. It's a place you okay. can just walk in and they don't care anything else about you, but you're there. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So, so yeah, we could fall into that category. So late. Okay, y'all got that one? We just have a couple more minutes. Let's do technology. So technology could bring anything from like a computer to a cell phone, to a cell phone or a alarm clock. Or oh, Kelsey has these little grabber things when she drops it. It's low tech. It don't have to be something you plug in. Is what I'm saying to be technology. I learned electric electric toothbrush. Yeah. Oh, a microwave is technology. A wheelchair. TV. Yeah. <laughs> it's technology. The wheelchair is. You know what wheelchair. you could say? A straw is really technology. Yeah. It's a way to help you do yeah, something to get one thing in a different way and maybe a better way. My dad's going to get me a reacher so I can pick up my clothes up off the floor. They you need that. You work, you no, I had, <laughs> I had one and I had one and it got misplaced. How many people here have a cell phone? How many people have a smartphone? My phone is smart. It's <laughs> My phone is smarter than me, mm -hmm. actually. I think smartphones are a good thing to have. Don't get too obsessed with the little games and things oh, you can put on there. No, it's no. all right for 30 minutes, but uh, let's not spend our day that way. No. But it's a way to communicate. People can keep up with, with your family. You can know where you are and not worry. I mean, there's so many things on there. Um, that can help you get the information you need. I would like I would like for you to talk to, I would like for you to talk to my dad. That's all I about let about let me come back down there and about this. Okay, cool beans. Maps if you don't out. Mind. I'm putting maps out on that. So that is a big technology. Yeah it is. You know the maps app? Mm -hmm. GPS. It used to be Why remember we had the Everything. Uh, GPS and some people still use those little guys. My dad does. Now our cars even do it. We don't even have to have anything separate. So, does everybody feel comfortable to go home and finish this? Yes. Do you think it can make a difference in your life? I do. Do you think that if you do this part, that trajectory, you'll see different things you might need to do in your life to get you to what you want in it? Yeah. And you might have to have some come to Jesus. Is what I say, you might have to come to Jesus for yourself because you might be doing some things here that you don't need to be doing because you're going to get to the eh, I don't need that in my life. So, y'all are all welcome to call me if you need me or email me. Y'all have my information, okay? All right. I've enjoyed y'all very much. What is this? I hope maybe y'all can think about some of the cam. Yes, yeah, so if y'all will. Um, where is that? Where is it? Yeah, can I borrow your? There's this little piece of paper. If y'all don't mind filling that out for me, it's the evaluation. And be honest. Because if I, if I didn't explain something well or something, I would really like to know it. Because I wouldn't want to keep on doing something that was not helpful. Okay? But if I did an awesome job and I rock it all the way through, yeah. be sure to let me know that too. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure I might need to know some things yeah. I can do better. And if you don't do the signing sheet, did everybody fill out the signing sheet? Yeah. We'll make sure we do that. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Let's give Miss Pam more answers. <laughs> I want to thank Alabama Care for taking us live today and thank everyone for joining us live online. Hope to see you next week.